Good afternoon, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? I'm going to be your tarot reader today. And yeah, this is going to be for some... This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Not all messages will resonate. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, I hope. I hope. That's it. You got to hope. Hope, hope, hope. <laughs> Sorry, I am really messing up my intros for some reason. I do know, not to know why. But either way, let's get right into the overall energies. So you got the King of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Page of Wands reversed. All right, so you're kind of feeling stuck, but grounded at the same time. So you're grounded and you have a lot of money, but you're not wanting to take action towards anything. And it's really make because you're stuck, you're not wanting to take action towards anything or really speak how you feel about things. But you have a lot of money, it looks like, Pisces. Um, you could also have a Taurus uh, moon, or just a Taurus in your chart, because this is a lot of Earth energy that's here. Um, but uh, yeah, let's pull some more cards and see what's going on for Pisces. Pisces, your card came out. So you got the moon card. The Two of Cups, the Four of Cups Reverse, the King of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. So, there looks like there's a new relationship coming in for you, a brand new start that's going to be very balanced for you. But there's something you feel like it's just an illusion, it's not really there because you see all your offers, but you're not sure if you actually want this offer. Like you're not sure if you want to put in the time and effort to make this uh, relationship an equal give and take relationship. And you could be dealing with a Gemini or another Pisces or a fellow or just like an air sign. I, I, I don't know why I'm saying that, but um, for the fellow part, um, because you are a water sign Pisces. So, just, yeah, just forget I said fella. All right. Um, yeah, and you just, so you, you're not sure what to do because you never, you have never talked to someone like this before. Someone that's very, uh, I want to say charismatic. But, like, it's someone that doesn't really prepare. I'm not defining it. I'm just explaining this person. It's someone that doesn't prepare for things. They just kind of do whatever they want. And they're all about the mind and their thoughts and ideas. All right, Pisces? And you have, you're, you're not used to someone like that. You're used to, like, people that are just... You know, they say what they want and they do what they want. And, you know, or like you're used to someone that's very controllable and that, you know, you can buy them that you can buy their love. All right. But you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So it looks like some more good fortune is coming your way. So either you are going to be getting a gift pretty soon or someone is just going to be giving you money all right or this could be like an anniversary if you have been in a relationship for a long time or it can be just something some sort of gift that's coming being brought to you all right you got the king of wands and the queen to queen of pentacles that came out so the king of wands is all about taking action in the right direction this person could have Sagittarius in their chart um, but this could also be your th three other options that you have because you have four options here these can be all of your options that you are choosing from uh, since the court cards are people uh, you have 
four, you have five court cards here, but four options. So one of them is you, and then the other four are your options. So you have the Page of Wands, someone that doesn't really know how to take action, but kind of knows what they want, but not how to go towards it. You have someone that knows what they want and knows how to go towards what they want and have what they want. You have someone that is all about the mind and uh, just says things very bluntly, but also um, can be caring at times. And then you have the Queen of Wands, which is someone that's very nurturing and very sweet to the connection and can possibly be pregnant. Um, whether you are a male or a female, this can be reversed either way. It is for you. It doesn't have to be uh, as the court cards say. Yeah. But technically, because if you're the king of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles is here, that would technically be your significant can other like your soulmate or someone that you are going to really click with it could be your fourth option that you're just that you weren't seeing before and it's they are also because all right so if you look at the cards you can't really see it but if you look at the cards the queen of pentacles is right on top of the two of cups and the page the the king of wands is right underneath the two of cups so that could mean that the Queen of Pentacles is the person that you're meant to be with. Um, but you could have a more balanced relationship in the um, if you go with the King of Wands instead. So it's really up to you on what you want. Both of these are kind of balanced, but one's going to be a more of a soul connection. One's going to be a more balanced connection between both of you so it's up to you on what you want to choose but uh yeah so let's see what advice cards the moonology cards have in store for pisces sun moon venus and rising sign what cards does what advice cards does pisces have for what advice cards does pisces have for November, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. And one more shuffle. Okay. Luck is on your side. So whatever you choose, whatever you choose, this could be the Sagittarius. Or this could just be whatever you choose. Um, you are going to be fortunate enough to, um, you know, luck will be on your side. So it, it's going to be like a win-win situation. But it is time to take action towards what you want. Whether that's the King of Wands, the King of Swords, or the Queen of Pentacles. Because the energy is gaining momentum all right so you got to take action soon or you're just going to miss this amazing offer that's coming towards you all right so we'll see what messages gaia has in store for pisces someone venus and rising sun what messages does gaia have for pisces sun moon venus and rising sun what messages does Pis does Gaia have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? Oh my God, this Mercury retrograde! I don't know how I'm gonna survive. <laughs> um. All right. So, also, you got some. Your crown chakra is really opening up during. Uh, the month of November, I can just tell by the colors that are, that are coming out during uh, the spread. You have purple.
purple, you have pink, you have uh, red, you have um, like earthy energy. So uh, your root chakra, your heart chakra, your crown chakra, and your third eye chakra are all coming out during the spread. All right. So just you may want to either pay attention to those chakras during the month of November or just uh, focus on like working on them. All right, I, just one second. One second. All right. Oh, okay. So you got eternal love, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. You have jewel within a teardrop, appreciation, spiritual, and emotional reconnection. So this could be an ex that you are dealing with, or this could be a soulmate uh, from a past life that you are dealing with, and it's going to be a very spiritual and emotional connection between you two, and that's why you guys fit so perfectly. Like, you guys are, like, the la like this person is, like, the last piece to your puzzle that you need to complete. And if you choose the other person, you'll be happy and fulfilled. So either way, you are going to be happy in some tor some type of way. What would whether or not you choose the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Wands, you are going to be happy. All right. So it's basically a win-win situation. So you have twelve twelve here. And you have um, 10, 10 here. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.